So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this abstract 3D pattern using After Effects and Element 3D. I want to show you the technique that I use to create this so you can try this for yourself. It is a way for you to have some inspiration and see how I use Element 3D in my work. And you can kind of create your own abstract 3D patterns for this. So now let's dive in and see how this effect is made. So we're going to start by creating a new composition. We will name this composition abstract 3D layer. The width of the composition is 1080 13. 50 and that is a 4-5 aspect ratio. So for the frame rate you can use 25 or 30 and for the duration I use 8 seconds and for the background color I use a black background color. So the next step is to press OK. We will create a new solid and we will call this one element 3D and we will go to effects go to video call pilot and we will put on the element plugin. We will be using element 3D in this tutorial because it allows us to have 3D right in After Effects. It saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and it's pretty nice to do kind of quick things that you want to do. And if you don't have element 3D, I kind of highly recommend this because it's a very good plugin. And I've been using this for many, many years now, and I love it. Let's dive into the creative process of creating this tube pattern that you have seen in the beginning of this video. Open up Element 3D and let's kick off this tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is to go to create and create a tube. And then you go to perspective, put it in front. There we go. And we can zoom out a little bit here. I will go to orientation in the X and I will put 90 degree and just press enter. And then we will go to two height and we just put it on 0 0.10. You will make the radius about two and the internal radius will make it about 95%. For the sides, we will do it about 100. And for the chamfer, we will go and put it on 0, 0, 0 0.5. And for the chamfer segments, we'll put it around 5. Now that we have our first tube, what we will do is to create about 7 more. So. Start by duplicating this one. And then what you want to do is to go to the radius here and change it to 1.8 and duplicate it and change this one to 1.6. And we will duplicate it again and we change it to 1.4. Duplicate it again. And we will change it to 1.2. Duplicate it again. And we will change it to 1.2. And we will put and duplicate it again. And we will put 1. And again to 0 0.8, I think. 0 0.8. Yeah. Again. 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. This is the shape that we are looking after. We can go to materials and put on the chrome material on everything on the group here. And we can go back to scene material and just remove all the unused ones. Now we have the shape so we can bend it and animate it and do a lot of cool things with it. But before we do that, we need to create a custom HDRI. For that, 
create a new composition and the size of this one is a little bit different. So the width is 5400 and we will kind of name this one HDRI texture and we can make it purple, purple. So we have it here, create a new solid and this can be our fractal noise. There we go. Just press OK. And then we will go here and just type in fractal noise. And guys, if you don't have this, this is FX console from Video Copilot. It's completely free. You can just go and download it. And then we will go to fractal type, put it to strings. We will go to the noise type and put it in spline and we can make the contrast about I think 110 or something yeah that's good and the brightness we can go up to 24 and then we go to transform and we really scale this bad boy up and we can go to evolution option and we can check this cycle evolution and we can put a keyframe on evolution on the beginning of the uh, composition and in the end we just put one so we get a perfect loop so if you look at this the next step is to create another solid press ok make it comp size and just what we want to do is to add a four color gradient on this solid I'm going to choose the colors that I like, but you can choose the colors that resonate like with your vision and what you want. So here are the colors that I like. And the next step is to just press it to multiply. The next step is to go back to our abstract 3D layer and we will drag this HDRI texture that we just created onto the layer. We can hide it and then we go to element 3D, go to custom layers, custom texture map, and we can choose the HDRI texture purple. We go back to scene setup and now as you see, there is an environment here. We go here and we'll choose our custom layer instead of that. So now you will see we have some colors and if we press OK, you see we have the animation and the reflection of the HDRI. We can go and go back to the particle replicator and go to rotation and we can put it maybe to 100. So now you can see the reflection of the HDRI texture that we just created onto our 3D model. It's very subtle, but it looks really cool. So now that we have the basic, what we can do is go to Z axis and just push it a little back and put 500 here. So we have a little bit more space. And now we will begin to animate so we can get those cool bendy effects that I showed you in the beginning of the video. The next step is to go to group one and go to particle look, multi object, and we can just check this box, give it some rotation. So this is basically the whole gimmick of this tutorial. So by using rotation random multiply, you can create this really complex animation with just one slider, basically. And I think this is really cool. I don't know if you want to follow along exactly the way I do it, because it will be a really long video if I go through all the different variation that I showed you, but I can just explain how I think about this. So I will kind of start at zero and put a keyframe and go to four, and maybe make it two cycles and then go to the end and put zero again. So this is basically 
the whole idea behind it to make the object open up and do the animation this this spiral or the the random um, rotation and then it will close up again and go back to the original shape that it was what we can also do is to play with the scatter parts we can go to scatter place our keyframe go to the middle and maybe put it to 20 yeah it looks weird because the this one is really high we can do it maybe on 20 or 50 something like that yeah and we can go back to zero again let's see how it looks so this is not real time but you get the idea and we can change also the background to be white and we can maybe add also four color gradient on this one and just use some colors from the HDRI that we have created. I think that we have some colors here we can choose from. So I'm going to show you the like the other guys that I've created because I've been creating a lot of different variation of this. So I'm going to show you exactly how I created them because this is basically the whole animation part. I put keyframes on rotation and I put some keyframes on the scatter and I got these different effects. As you can see, it's the same thing, but at this time I put some different colors on. I changed the HDRI and put some other colors. I can show you also this one. It's, it's exactly the same thing, but the colors are a little bit different. It's more like, like pink and blue. So here you can see the animation that I created. So as you can see, I have rotated the, the Y axis. So from zero to one. So this is a one cycle. And then the rotation random multiply here. I just put it to 20 and in scatter, I put some scatter on it because you can put it much more like 80 just to show you how crazy you can make it. But I think this is, so I can show you also the other one, this one I created. So here is the final look. As you can see, it's the same thing. It's a little bit more Z scatter or Y scatter. You can see it again. So it opens up and closes down. So in this part, what I've done is I, I duplicated the element 3D layer. And after I duplicated, I go to, to the output here and put the show onto speckler. And this one, if I just solo this one out, you can see that it has, I put some glow on it, but if I remove the glow, you will see it's, it's only this really bright parts of the, of the object. So all these bright parts are there. And I put it in screen mode and put some glow on it. But the most important thing is that these two has to be the same. The only change that you will do is to make the show from the output to be speckler because there are different outputs that you can choose from and you can put some effects on it but this is what i did and for these guys what i've done is exactly the same thing but i played around a little bit with um, the animation engine so basically what i've done is i go to element 3d and I create a duplicate the tube that we created in the beginning. And I put a bright light, you can find it here in physical, a bright light on one of them. And I put a black gloss on the other one because there is one that is very black. I put this one on. 
And what I've done after that is I kind of animated the seed of it. So if I change the seed, you will see that it will flicker. Yeah. So this is exactly what I've done. I just changed the seed. So this is the final. And you, as you can see, this is the seed that I have just. So I've put some keyframes on the seed, some camera animation on it. So, so all of these are the exact same setup. So the only difference is that sometimes you can put some different effects on it. And this one, I put some deform on it. You can have some tapper, you can have some noise and some twist. You can play around with all of these settings. Also do the same thing with the animation engine. So you duplicate the group and you have group one and group two. So you can kind of go through group one and group with this animation knob here. So you can go from zero to hundred. So as you can see, you can create really cool effects with this one. And have really cool animation. So all of these are made with the exact same. This eight tubes and some keyframes on the scatter rotation. And you can also put some bend on the on the model and have some different and very interesting looking ways. Okay guys, this video was really fun for me to create. And as you can see, this is my second video in this channel. So if you like what I create, I'm really happy if you subscribe to my channel so I can create more of these tutorials. And the project file for this is also out so you can download it for free. So you can try out the things that I made in this video so you can see the, the way that I work. I am creating more of these tutorials. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and element 3d or cinema 4d and after effects and video creation in in general follow this channel and see the next video thanks